Yeah, what a what a big time win by our, our football team and program. Um, really appreciative of the crowd. I thought again they were just unbelievable. What a great uh, energetic atmosphere. I thought the students um, were unbelievable again. They were there early and loud, and and um, really felt like our guys needed some energy um, going into this game. You know, we've been going since July 30th. You know, and this is. Uh, been eight straight weeks plus those four weeks, you know. So we needed this bye week, and I was worried about um, getting to this finish line. But really proud of the seniors um, and our leaders for really playing with a lot of courage and energy and really thankful for the fans. You know, it's always good to win homecoming when you invent homecoming. So really appreciative to our team. And then uh, to keep the Mayor's Cup uh, in the real Columbia, that's always something special too. So. Uh, hats off to our defense. I thought Coach Baker did an outstanding job getting after uh, them offensively. And to hold them to four field goals, I think, was incredible, especially after the drop punt. You know, to go out there, run to the fight the way they did, and hold them to a field goal was really impressive. So, with that, I'll open it up for whatever inquiries y'all might have. You want to come in with the team that you said, you know, needed some energy in a, in a spot where they maybe could have looked ahead a little bit of how. Yeah, the only thing I was worried about was them um, looking ahead to the bye week, you know, looking to the day off uh, as much as anything. But really proud of the, the energy they had in the first half, you know, offensively to come out and score uh, on three of the first four possessions, you know, defensively to go out there and really stuff them uh, all the way up until halftime, I thought was really good. Eli, a lot of football teams use multiple running backs today. You use one guy and he did great. Can you describe why Schrader has that responsibility and what he's shown? We just have a lot of trust in him um, and, uh, you know, felt like he keep, continues to earn the opportunity with the way he's producing with the ball in his hands. Um, you know, he's got a really limited stuff rate. He doesn't have negative yardage runs. And so, you know, I think for the, for us, plus his combination of what he does in protections, you know, our plan was to play a little bit of Jamal Roberts in this game and, and um, you know, just didn't get it done. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens through the bye week. Yeah, I thought we had a pretty good rhythm offensively. You know, they started out, it had been a ton of man-to-man. -man. They came out and covered two that first series. And so I thought Kirby did a really good job adjusting. And anytime you play two safeties on the roof, you got to, you know, you got to run the ball a little bit. And then we were able to get them into their quarters look and hit Luther over the top. So it was a, it was a really good sequence there by Coach Moore. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We just, we couldn't get a rhythm. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, I thought in the first half uh, there was a couple of really key third downs that kept us going. And obviously in the third quarter, uh, we weren't quite as good on third down. We had the first third down where we went kind of an empty formation. They checked zero and we didn't get the right protection there, which, uh, you know, kind of let us down a little bit of a spiral there. Then we had the drop punt and I think we got a little bit tight, but uh, we'll respond. We'll figure it out. No, uh -uh. why stop now? Yeah, that, that uh, no. I think we got a lot of games left, and we've set up a November to remember. So, yeah, what, what would you say though, that, it, that it means to be at this point now? Nothing. It really doesn't mean anything other than we're bowl eligible. I mean, we're focused on um, the task at hand, and I think that's really been why our team has been so effective. Is we haven't looked ahead to anything. Everybody else is. We're not. Our our team and our seniors have been focused on a one and zero mentality. We need to beat the bye week. We, we need to make sure we get rested up. We need to recover. Um, and then we'll figure out what we got to do in November. You like penalties along the offensive line have kind of been a struggle, but tonight. Didn't Just had one, right? Yeah. Had the false start. One, yeah, false start on the offensive line. What is kind of, what improvements have you guys made in practice that maybe have translated over to you? We brought officials in to practice. Dead serious. We, we, we brought officials in to practice and just said, hey, you know, obviously it's something that we're not doing a good enough job of. We did it all fall camp with officials, and so. We just brought him in and just that extra level of accountability. Coach, you mentioned a couple of times that you guys have been, got your eye on this fire week coming up, but I think fans and probably a bunch of us in here are thinking about what's coming up the week after that. You got any, any thoughts about Yeah, don't peak too soon is what I'd tell you. 
yeah, don't peak too soon is what I'd say. You know, we we got a bye week to get to. And, um, yeah, you know, college football, it's really easy for the fans to look to the schedule and say, okay, we're going to get this, we're going to get that one and do this. But in that locker room, it's hard. I mean, you're physically beat up. You're physically worn out. You got so many tests and midterms. Um, you got stuff back at home. You know, you're, you're dealing with all kinds of stuff mentally and physically. And, and our guys are not even in the frame of mind to think about Georgia. I, I'm telling you right now, they're, they're thinking about having tomorrow off. Um, and we'll figure out, you know, by week, we've got a protocol on how we handle it. We'll do some developmental stuff. We'll work ahead on some upcoming opponents. Um, and then our coaches will go out on the road recruiting. Um, and then we'll gather back on, on Sunday night, have victory dinner, and, and get ready for the next opponent, whoever that might be. Great time for a bye week, uh, you know. I, I think he's just, again, <laughs> how many touches did he have tonight? He said three rushes, he had eight catches. I mean, the guy gets hit a ton over the course of eight weeks plus four, four weeks of fall camp. Uh, his body's just telling him, like, hey, bro, you need a bye week, you know. So that's all it was. Yeah, our, our theme all week was rattle rattler. You know, we just felt like we needed to rattle him and, and uh, should have had more, but we had some really unfortunate, uncharacteristic penalties on third down. You know, we had the illegal hands to the face. We had uh, a late hit. You know, we had uh, a holding um, that all took sacks off the board. So, um, but I thought, again, Coach Baker, Coach Peoples had an excellent job, a plan, Coach Smith with some of the pressures and, and uh, really did an excellent job there. Yeah, I think those guys, again, um, are just getting better every week, you know. And, and I think early in the year we had a lot of pressure, uh, probably self-infused pressure of trying to be something. And now I think we just are embracing who we are and trying to get better each week. Um, and I don't think there's really the expectation or pressure that we've let put on us. We're just going out there playing free. Really impressive interception by JC right there. And then uh, corresponding uh, touchdown drive by the offense. It was really good complimentary football. Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's an important part of it. You know, starting fast, finish strong is kind of what we talk about. Um, that's why we put the fist up in the fourth quarter. And, and um, you know, a lot of things that we discuss, our guys are just are bought into, man, and they believe it, and, they, and they're going to chase it. And it's, uh, it's, it's really cool when a group's aligned behind a purpose, and it's kind of what we see right now with our football team. Um, you know, every game plan is designed to beat a specific look that the defense gives you. And so, you know, some teams do certain things, other teams do other things. So there's no real, um, there's no magic play to get a ball vertically down the field or deep. You know, the second play of the game, we had one of our best, better play action concepts drawn up that we felt like we could get a, a vertical high low on the field and, and they covered it really, really well. So, you know, I think that kind of put us in a position of saying, okay, well, that's how they're going to play, then, then we have to dictate how we want to play. It's kind of what Kentucky was doing, too. Um, I think good teams find ways to win, you know, and, and it isn't, we're not married to one thing, you know, and so credit to Coach Moore for finding a way to get that done today. Eli, what did you like to see? What, what did you like from Tristan Newsom and some of the other guys, especially the, the depth guys? That kind of <clears> of the yeah, you know, uh, Hop kind of went out with a shoulder in the first, uh, first or second quarter, and so Tristan had to step up, and, you know. Um, He's got, just kind of been baking in the oven, baking in the oven, came out, had a big sack right there. And I think he's, you know, he's a guy that we need to continue to step up so that Hop can play at his full potential when he's not having to play so many plays. So, you know, I thought Trevez played pretty well today. I thought Marvin Burks came in and played well. You know, we were trying to rotate to save Ennis. Um, so again, Chris, uh, or sorry, Drayden Norwood did an excellent job just buying us some time there. And, and uh, again, we're throwing a whole lot of depth at people right now. And I think that's, that's a benefit for us. Coach, have we seen your best yet? No, not even kind of. No, uh -uh. We've, we've seen flashes of it, but we haven't put it all together for four quarters. And I think that's why this team is so uh, 
hungry and coachable because, you know, they're, they're wanting to prove it to each other that we can keep playing better. The defense is really coming into its own in the last couple of weeks. What have you seen that's been a difference in that part? We practice better. Yeah, our, our defense is practicing a lot better. And credit to the defensive staff for creating new ways for us to practice and, and um, being attentive to details. But those guys have really picked it up in practice. Yeah. Also, they were averaging seven yards on third down. That was the average distance. How do you just think you're going to play on that? Well, you stop the run, you have some fun. And that's kind of one of those things that our, our defensive um, thought process is. That's why we try to create havoc on first and second down. And it creates opportunities for us to get into our prowler package and you know create a variety of stunts and penetrators. So. Mook. What kind of receiver has he become and what kind of role does he play? I mean, you talk about a guy that has just does everything right. You know, just does everything right, shows up every day, works really hard, um, doesn't worry about stats, noise, Twitter, just goes to work, does his job, is reliable, blocks on the perimeter, anything we ask him to do, he's a smart, disciplined football player. Um, you know, we talk about being detailed, disciplined, and unselfish in the past game. That's what he does. Um, and right now, I mean, every time he catches the ball, he, he's another five yards. I mean, he, he the first guy's not tackling him. So, really, really proud of Mookie, and I know his mom's really proud of him too. So, it's like he's becoming the next great bastard. No, nah, he's Mookie Cooper. Yeah, he's Mookie Cooper. Thanks. President Choi, appreciate you being here today. You gonna celebrate homecoming? You already did. Yeah, yeah. M I Z.